Hi boys and girls, Miss Keepers here. So it's been raining cats and dogs lately. And if you don't know what that means, it means it's been raining a lot. So in honor of some fun rain projects, I've moved to my kitchen to show you how to make some rainbow lightning rain. First, we'll need to set up an area with drop cloth or an old towel, paper, food coloring, and if you don't happen to have the food coloring that comes in the drip bottles, you can use the gel ones, but you'll need to add a little water to it like I did here. This will also work with that marker method that I showed you before. Um, and so let's get started. Use the magnet to stick your paper to an old cookie sheet or a pan. Start by drawing a line to determine where your horizon is. That's where the sky meets the ground. Next, you can choose to draw an umbrella or put something that might be blocked out by the rain. So for this one, I have a little bit of tape and I'm gonna go ahead and draw my umbrella. That little part off where my umbrella top was. back down. Now we're ready to go ahead and put some of that little tiny drops of, and even a little bit will be a lot for the lightning rain. And if you get this stuff on your fingers, it will stain, so you need to be extra careful. I think we're ready to prop it up and let the magic happen. You can see where I have a little bit of drips that are already spreading. So now for this part, I'm gonna use a spray bottle with just water. And as soon as I start spraying it, you'll see that it turns into lightning rain. If I want it to be a little bit more rainy, I'm just gonna go ahead while the water is still on there and use some of these markers and let them drip down just like I would do a drip. So this is allowing for gravity to make the rain a little bit colorful. Okay, now that all the colors have settled at the bottom, right where my horizon line was, is I can go right over and I can blend them together with a marker and it'll look like the grass. If your grass is anything like mine, it's not quite green yet. So I'm going to mix a little bit of red with that green and it'll make it kind of a brown. Oh, you can see some of that blue mixing in there too with some darker spots. All right, so this painting I've already done and now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna peel off the tape to show you how carefully it reveals 